Hey y'all, welcome back to Spirit of the Outdoors. I decided to get my Black Hunter out, my recurve bow, and uh, start doing a little practicing. If you've seen those shots I just made, it's obvious that I got a lot of work to do. Two of the shots ain't really too bad. Now, I was honest to God, I know somebody will say, yeah, you just backed up 10 yards a shot. That's, that's about a 20, 20 yard shot, which is about what I'm gonna stick with. Uh, I'm not going to start trying to shoot at deer no further than 20, 25 yards at the max right now. I'm I'm not that good at it. Uh, if y'all watched me do some archery last year, I know there's a lot of new people. Um, I never did really hunt a lot with this bow. I did tote it through the woods a few times. Uh, I shot at a squirrel with it. Uh, I wound up killing a raccoon with it. Uh, I've killed a rabbit with it. I have never hunted traditional archery. I've always done compound shooting. I've had compound bows and done pretty decent with it. I have killed several deer with compound bows. Um, and I may hunt with it some this year if I start really wanting to get meat and, and get a deer. This is more of a challenge. This is a lot of fun. Um, I got into this because this takes a lot of focus. This is a lot of work on me. It's a lot of the old ways too. The next thing is, is I can make arrows for this. Now what I am shooting, uh, let me pull one of them out. It's not gonna be long y'all, we're gonna make a bow. Uh, I have made a couple of recurve bows, or no, I've made a couple of long bows, hickory long bows. I've yet to get a Osage, I've got several Osage staves, I've yet to get one to come out. Every time I get almost through, a crack shows up or some, some something goes wrong. Uh, probably a lot of it to do with my work. Uh, I'm not a professional bow maker. Um, but I have made a couple of hickory bows. I have two that I currently have that are shootable bows. They're not great. Um, I'm going to make another one. We're going to try to make a bow. We're going to make some arrows. Now, I'm going to make the arrows to shoot in this bow. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll wind up cutting some privet shafts. And uh, I've got some that I cut last year. So you'll see some arrow making going on i'm not a professional arrow maker i'm not a professional bow maker you want to know how to make bow and arrows you go watch hunt primitive or clay hayes one of them two is the best there is out there you can learn how to make a bow watching those two guys and arrows this is more entertainment that the whole country boy can do it oh i ain't near about good as he's one of them so anyway we're going to have a little fun and shoot this bow a little bit today. See if we can get where we can stick them all on here. Now, on this target right here, um, I don't need a real small target. I'm shooting at this white tape right here uh, that sticks out a little more than the other. I may come down here eventually and spray me a spot of uh, uh, spray paint on there to have me a good target. Last year, I had a paper plate tacked up out here. So uh, I ain't getting real fancy with this. This is just, your bow season ain't that got awful far away, y'all. Oh, it's time to be getting them out of shooting. Now, I did want to show y'all, this is the Black Hunter. Uh, I've seen a lot of negativity on the internet about this bow, y'all. This is an excellent bow. For $100 on the internet, I grabbed this thing up. I killed a rabbit with it the day I got it. I had never shot it before. There's nothing wrong with this bow. This is a 45 pound bow. Um, and, and I'm not no expert professional, but when you got somebody that they've been shooting bows for years and years and years, and they have spent several hundred dollars on a bow, they gonna recommend you buy a five or $600 bow every time. There's no, it don't matter. This is a China made bow, but y'all, it's a good bow for what it is. It is well made, it shoots good, it, it's, it's got a little racket to it, but y'all have made these out of yarn, so not a bad bow. I made the string for it. I can show you how to make the string. I like that orange. I put some tape on it just because I like it. Best way to do things, the way you like to do it. So anyway, y'all hang around. We're going to do a little target practice, see if we can get a little better with this thing. Y'all, what I do, I just take, I got three little old arrows, and I just got these field points on there right now. These, uh, We're going to make some pretty cool arrows. And I, I've, I have made some decent arrows and they're, everything I do with this traditional archery, y'all, is gonna be a little cross between primitive and modern. I'm not a purist on stuff. I am a use what you got kind of guy, do it yourself. 
you know, repurpose, do it cheap, don't waste a bunch of money. That's my style, okay? Now, my style right here is I need a lot of improvement on my form and all. I, I know this. I know some of y'all that's going to watch traditional archers going to look at it and go, oh, man, you're doing this wrong and that wrong. I, I know I am. And one of the things about filming me shooting right now is when I edit this, I, then I can see what I'm doing. I can see that my elbow's way up here and stuff like that. So me filming me shooting helps me. So, And if you give me some tips, I don't mind. I'll, I'm not one of those experts that, that say, oh, don't tell me how to do nothing. I'll let you know right now, I don't know a whole lot about what I'm doing with this, but I'm getting better at it and I ain't too bad. So that, that's the hope in it. When you feel like you're too bad, you'll give up on something. So I think there's enough hope that I can figure this out and I somewhat aim but somewhat shoot instinctively so I, I figured I, I've shot a good bit last year I have not picked this bow up since hunting season last year this is the first time and I did I did shoot about three shots before I turned the camera on I wanted to uh, make sure I could at least hit the hay bale today before I turned it on I didn't want to be that bad I knew, I knew if I'd missed a whole hay bale, y'all would have turned it off and wouldn't have looked at me no more. Y'all would been like, this old boy right here, I don't have a clue what he's doing. Y'all like my shirt? I can't never get this shirt on video, y'all. This is one of my favorite shirts. But it's about too hot to wear black, but I thought it was a good, good shirt to wear on a traditional archer today. Well, that's pretty horrible. <laughs> Let me go get them and we'll shoot again. I did want to show you these uh, arrows I made, how I did the fletching on them. I don't know if this is the best one to show you. Y'all, them's turkey feathers, and I just glued them on there. I mean, like I was putting on rubber fletchings, I just glued them on there. And they work. They stay on it, and they shoot a whole lot better. So I finally figured out, you know, that my fletching last year was a lot of my problem with my inconsistencies. Once I get shooting good, Y'all, I know I got a lot of work to do. I get to talking to the camera and get excited and I hurry up and rush my shot, such as that stuff. So that's one of the things I like about this. I got to learn to follow through. I know I don't follow through good. But like I said, I'll go back when I edit this video and uh, I'll look at it and be like, oh, I got to fix that. <laughs> I did last year. I watched me shoot on camera when I filmed one day. I was like, my God, and I had my elbow. It was like way up here. And I'm like, man, I got to get that down. So I look in a little bit and say, I don't have a clue where it's at right now. I, in my mind, I'm trying to get it down, but it don't always work that way. Them two shots pretty close together. Now they ain't, they ain't right in the bullseye, but they close together. I think. I'll have to go down there and see. All three of them, mate, you, you could... They ain't too bad. I'll take you down there and let you look. I, I ain't want y'all to think I was doing it like old New Gene, you know. Old New Gene, he had a line led better. See, I'm a little to the left of my of, of my target. I'm I'm trying to hit this white strip of tape like right down in the bottom end of it's what I'm aiming at. But uh, that ain't just too awful bad. We getting there. When I when I get through, y'all, I'll uh, 
I'll set the camera up right here and I'll tell y'all I'm going back at 20 yards to shoot and I'll, I'll do this number right here. I'll bash up about right here and I'll pop them in there and that'll make for a good video. <laughs> <laughs> no, y'all, I really ain't gonna do that. I don't. I, I really am gonna try to learn how and uh, shoot good. I'm just doing some carrying on right now, but I know there's some folks that do stuff like that, especially making them YouTube videos. Hey, eh? they don't. They don't like to be wrong on there. <laughs> they don't want you to think that they don't already know everything. See, that's that's where I'm different than everybody. I, I don't mind you knowing that I ain't no good at this. But you can watch me learn how and get better, see? Anyway, we're going to film a couple more shots, and then we'll let y'all go on and eat your supper and whatnot. Oh, that is in my white, y'all. If I can get all of them there. Mm, missed it. Shot to the left again, just a little bit. Oh, I pulled that. Y'all see me start shaking? Anyway, we're gonna shoot this old bow a little bit. Oh, uh, I just wanted to share with y'all some traditional archery. Wear my t-shirt for you that I, I got this last year. I really ain't worn in a whole lot of videos. Too hot, Mississippi, to be wearing black right now. And uh, anyway, look right here behind. But oh, y'all, poke beard. That's him poisonous beard. <laughs> I got a video on poke bears. You go back and watch it last year. You'll know why I eat them. I don't. I always eat about two or three zip. Um, but anyway, you can see about how far I'm shooting from right here. And uh, I just, I need to get out here and practice and I'm not gonna film every shot. So I was gonna stand here and talk and carry on a little bit, have a little fun. Uh, I, I really enjoy this. I like this bow, but I am gonna make a bow. So y'all will see we fixing to do. I've got my staves dried. I have, a, I've got several staves up in the rafters of my shed down there. So we're gonna pull out a hickory stave that I cut last year and been drying all summer. And we're gonna strip it down and, make sure there ain't no bugs make sure it ain't got i get them bugs man i'll get in there and start eating under the bark i should have read i should have stripped the bark off of all of them and i did strip the bark off of a few so anyway uh i don't know if we'll fire harden it but we're gonna do that and we're definitely gonna make some arrows so you guys that signed up this channel because of the archery we started last year and then we kind of dropped out of it and didn't do a whole lot we fixing the gear up for hunting season so we're gonna do some archery and we're gonna do some black powder and uh and we're gonna do some modern rifle and such hunting because last year y'all i i got so focused on trying to film that we really didn't kill a whole lot i, I was more concerned well i want i need to make a good video of y'all i'm probably not gonna get a kill shot on camera i'm gonna just go ahead and tell you now because some things like squirrels and different things i can somewhat get a kill shot two problems youtube don't like it a lot of people don't want to watch it a lot of people turn your channel off because it's gruesome or whatever and then there's a whole pile of y'all that really like it but it's a lot of work and it's hard to do uh you have to really get lucky to set up everything get your camera set up to get a good shot of a kill shot and uh so more than likely we're gonna just carry you along hunting and then when we kill something turn the camera on and be like hey y'all look what we got because you know, in my mind, I get the idea. Well, people's gonna think, you know, you've done whatever, and they should, but if, if the animal's laying there, I mean, it's hard to, so y'all know I ain't gonna lie to you anyway, but I'm fixing to do a little more shooting for a little while. Thank y'all for watching Spirit of the Outdoors. We'll see you next time. Remember, the best way to do things, the way you like to do it. We'll see y'all.